Hi everyone and welcome to Studio Hacks. In this short video, I'm going to give you my recommendations of how you can record a phone conversation on an iPhone or any other smartphone. I had a friend ask me this week, as an audio engineer, they were asking me, what's the best way that you can record a phone conversation? The context they were asking in was they had a podcast and they were interviewing someone over the phone on their podcast and they wanted to include that interview and they wanted to know how do I capture clearly my voice and the other person's voice. And uh, I've done this before for podcasts and some of the ways I do it are actually a lot simpler than you'd think. Now, a lot of the YouTube videos that I've seen on this topic are all based on apps that you can get on the iPhone. And I would not recommend using a audio recording app, um, basically because they're all trying to rope you into reoccurring billing. Uh, or they are some kind of a hack or something like a jailbroken iPhone, which I wouldn't recommend. Well, I've never done that anyway. Um, technically, it's not legal as well. So if you get any of these other apps, they're basically a three-way recording app. They ask you to the number that you're calling and they make you put that into the app but then your phone actually calls the third party recorder. So it goes through their recording service and then it records both parties and then they have that on a cloud and then it processes and they send you an audio file. Now from the ones I've seen, it can cost anywhere from six up to $20 a month in, they might give you a one week free trial, but then they do reoccurring billing. And if you're like me, I try to avoid any reoccurring billing as much as I can. So the number one quickest and easiest way is you can't, you can't actually do it just on an iPhone. I've tried, there's no native way to do it. So the simple way is if you've got a second iPhone, whether that's a friend's iPhone or you've got an old iPhone that's still functioning, you, you only need the voice recorder app on it. So this is the simplest, easiest way. I've got the voice recorder app on this old iPhone and this is my current iPhone. I call whoever I'm calling and pop them on speakerphone and simply record my audio and their audio as a voice memo. So if I was to do that, um, remember that the microphone is usually near the bottom and the speaker is normally near the top. So if you, you want to make sure you get the bottom of this iPhone up near the top of this one. And you, if it's going to be a long conversation, you can hold it in, in your hand, but you might get tired of doing that. You could perhaps put them on some kind of a stand or on your desk and lean over your desk and just have the conversation that way. So basically what you do is I'm just going to call my voicemail here, pop it on speakerphone, hit you record. You have no new messages. Add one saved message. To play your messages, press 7. To record a message, press 6. To change your... And then I would talk, so it would have my audio and their audio, and then stop the recording, and then you've got that recording there. Now, to get that voice recording uh, saved, you can actually click... I think if you can see that there's a share there. If you hit the three dots at the bottom of the voice recording, you can simply share that and you can email that to yourself or save it to your files. If I, I if I was to hit share, then I could like airdrop that to my Mac or I could uh, simply send it to my Gmail or even text that to somebody. That's an easy way. Now, if you are recording a podcast, you've probably got a microphone like I've got here. And um, a lot of people who are podcasters use the uh, Bluetooth microphones or the, uh, not Bluetooth, they use the USB microphones rather, um, like the Yeti and things like that. So this is how I've done it in a professional studio setting and it's worked absolutely fine. Get a high quality microphone. Um, if you know anything about these microphones, they have a cardioid pattern. This one's set to cardioid. Um, it's not like a fancy figure of eight or anything. Cardioid basically means you get the best, clearest recording on the front side of the microphone where the, usually the name of the microphone or the logo is. And then there's a null point on the back where it's trying to uh, disregard the sound back there. Um, so we had a podcast where we had two people in the studio and then they wanted to have a conversation with someone on the phone. So I basically, during the recording of the podcast, 
simply called that person, popped them on speakerphone, and then I had a third mic in the studio. But if you've only got one microphone, if you're just a small podcaster, simply keep talking as you normally would into your microphone and then make your voice recording, just call the voicemail. You can hear this is quite clear. Pop it on speakerphone. You have no messages and one saved message. To play your messages, press 7. To record them. So you can see I was holding the top of the iPhone up close to that and it was getting a nice clear recording. Now, I've never done any testing with the audio clarity of the phone conversation recorder apps. Um, I've never tested any of them, so I will leave some of the links uh, to the other videos that I've found on those apps if you want to do it that way. The third and final option uh, is one of these little digital recorders. So if you don't have an old iPhone or a friend's iPhone, if you have one of these cheap digital recorders kicking around, or if you want to buy one, they're really cheap. I, I get, get them secondhand sometimes um, from eBay for $50. I think even brand new, you can get a simple one like this for around $100. So this is the same thing, except that you'll get uh, a really high quality recording. These are really good for podcasts as well, because this one in particular, the Zoom uh, H2, I think the new one is called the H2N, it actually has four microphones in it. So there's a stereo pair facing that way and a stereo pair facing the other way. So you can pop that in the middle of the table and it will record behind and in front and will give you four separate audio files. Front left, front right, back left, back right. And then that all gets recorded onto a little uh, SD there that you can pop straight into your digital audio workstation or whatever software you're using and then edit your podcast that way. So apart from using the paid apps, my other suggestions in a home studio or even just a little uh, bootstrap operation is to use an old iPhone or a friend's iPhone, to use your podcasting microphone or use a handy little digital recorder. I hope you found this content valuable, folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.